welcome back today just general reading overall energy between you and the person on your mind the most first card love at first sight twin flame mirror souls yeah it was a love at first sight relationship i'm reading on today very strong connection twin flame whatever you assign whatever you believe in really because i think your beliefs are you know very important what you choose to believe in is really important but just a love at first sight you just met them and you fell in love and vice versa uh there was mirroring going on here okay that can be good but also that can with twin flame connections especially i usually find that you go into them and they help you grow you mirror each other okay let's just have one more before we go deeper into this so let's go see where this goes today really you know are they going to make contact do they want to talk to you are they what are they doing you know that kind of energy eager <clears throat> immediate action it looks like someone is going to speak to you okay let's see what they would like to say with these cards all right i'll just give these a shuffle also with this energy they were very very eager when you first met this was just a very intense connection you know you lock eyes it's like you've known this person all your life it is like they're the other half of you okay so let's have a look just give these a quick shuffle fingers and thumbs today if you would like a personal reading if you just click on the title it's all in the link below and also the free relationship and thanks so much for watching everything comments likes subscribes and your support it's really really kind of you okay everyone let's see let's see what's going on in their mind at the moment right they're very confused overwhelmed that's why they've detached that's why this person's not come in they're feeling your energy you know it's a classic case of you've probably been healing you've been doing the work on yourself you've forgiven them Someone has forgiven somebody here. It's taken time. But now they can feel that energy. Because what you think about, they will think you're thinking. I hope that makes sense. So I feel that you are now sending this person loving thoughts, compassion, kindness. But you're also giving yourself a lot of love and a lot of compassion and kindness. I just feel I've got... People today watching this who have forgiven themselves and also forgiven their person. All right, that's why this energy, it's a beautiful energy today. Intuitively, I'm not feeling toxicity, okay? But I can see your person was very, very unclear about everything, okay? They were totally overwhelmed. They're very stressed at the moment, Okay, they're very stressed at the moment because I feel they want to take action towards you, that they're eager for some form of communication, but they're not sure where you where they stand with you. Okay, could have been a period of time or just a, a ghosting situation. So somebody here does not know whether to reach out or not. All right, they let it go to clear their mind, but I feel you did as well. I feel this is one of those connections that you walked away from, even though you still love the person very much, you had no option. It was, it was really draining, <clears throat> you know, it was draining you, it was messy, um, it was intense, it was overwhelming for both of you, okay, but this is a connection that you walked away from that was really hard because you still love them and you still love them. Okay, so, I'm, you know, you'll know if this is for you. If you don't love your person or if it was particularly toxic, narcissistic, this isn't your reading today. This is for those of you who were in what people call a twin flame connection. You mirrored each other, but most of the time in a positive way. But then it was just so intense. It was just so, so intense. So you both detached to clear your minds. Okay, you both detach, but what's happening is during that process of healing, clearing your minds, working on your own wounds, they have also had the time to look within themselves, look at your connection as a whole, 
and just how beautiful it really was deep down. Not the surface stuff I heard that ended up happening in the end, but the root of it, you know, the, the, the beauty of it. I feel that is what they're doing. They don't want to run from themselves anymore. They've realised who they are. They have realised who they are. So they are very eager to take action, okay? But they're a little bit overwhelmed at the moment. Where's my tarot deck? <clears throat> Let's have a look. What is overwhelming them? Now they're overwhelmed, doesn't necessarily have to be emotional. It could be anything, all right? It could be their work, you know, something in the physical yeah, success is something, their self-esteem is still a little bit low. Somebody is not supporting them. Who promised to support them, I've just heard. Yeah, they've got a lot of competition. Five of Wands, King of Cups. Definitely their energy, okay. They are overwhelmed by the fact that there are a, a, quite a few other people involved in this, or there were quite a few other people involved in this. You know, I feel that they feel that they could be competing for your attention. Okay? Now, this might not necessarily be true, but I feel this is what is stressing them out. That they feel, because they don't know where they stand now, I think they feel that you've moved on, that you've got new friends, new groups, new activities. Okay, you've made a new life for yourself. And they're not sure whether or not that the love that you had is still there okay but on a different note within their own environment this person their emotions are overwhelmed but also their energy their energy is going in a lot of different places i heard before these cards came out that they're, they're not feeling supported there's somebody within a group of people they're involved in who supported them and who was their cheerleader, who has almost now turned against them. So they've got this stress as well, regardless of romance or love or any of that, they've got this going on as well. Let me just get the Norman down to clarify a little bit deeper on this overwhelm. <clears throat> yeah, they've got a decision to make, okay? Almost paralyzing them to a certain degree. You know, sitting with head in hands kind of, well, I, I need to do something. I need to take action, I want to take immediate action, but oh well if I do that then maybe I won't get this, okay? But the core is because they don't know, they don't know where they stand with you, okay? They just don't know where they stand with you. I think you fought back, I think you fought back, I think the very act of you putting your head in the air, although your heart was breaking, and walking away from this surprised a lot of people. Okay, it surprised a lot of people, I'm hearing. They didn't expect it. People didn't expect it. Okay, there's two more, please. Yeah, they've got a decision to make. Wow. They've got a love decision to make. Okay, there is competition here in some shape or form. Right, and they've got to make a decision. Now, I can see that they want to come forward and they want to be open and they would like a meeting with you. They would like to see you. They would like to meet with you, okay? They are in two minds whether to contact you on social media at the moment. And even if you're blocked everywhere. People find a way, people find a way, whether through a friend of a friend or, you know, they'll just find a way, okay? But they're in two minds whether to contact you in so, on social media and meet you on neutral ground, neutral territory. So like a public space, an open space. I'm hearing park, I'm hearing a park, okay? Somewhere where there's trees and there's flowers, that's what I'm actually hearing. But they've got this decision to make and they're overwhelmed by the thought of competition, having to fight for your attention, but also I feel on your side as well. That is the main block here. That is the main block, okay? Especially with them. They have got to come forward. The desire is there for you. 
<coughs> excuse me, the desire is there for you. It's love, they're eager, but they're very, very overwhelmed. Let me see what else they would like to say. Let's see what else, if there's anything else we can dig out on this. I wish to be like you. The passion is too much. I feel the intensity. This was so intense. I don't think other people around you realised how intense this connection really was. I think towards the end of the people around you I'm hearing just saw it all falling apart. Okay, but this was a very, 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 very passionate connection. You are so different from everyone around me. Yeah, they've never met anybody like you. I don't feel they ever will. I just don't feel they ever will. I think you you know that deep down. I think you, you know that deep down, that this person is connected into you at a very, very deep level. Very, very deep level. You deserve better. What did they do in the past? Let me just have a quick look. Why do they think you deserve better? Why do they think you deserve better? This is obviously a past. You deserve better. Yeah, they... They caused you a lot of grief and pain in the end, okay? They caused you to leave this relationship, even if you weren't the one to go initially, you didn't chase for long either, okay? But this broke your heart. They broke your trust, they broke your friendship, they annihilated your safe space, I'm hearing. They annihilated your safe space where you felt safe, it was breached. Your things around you, you didn't have anymore. But they broke your childlike spirit. And for you having a childlike spirit, that is beautiful. That means it's untainted by the world almost. You see through, to see things through a child's eyes is actually one of the most beautiful things you can do. You just see everything as fresh, as a possibility, as something that is really just so sweet. They really regret that. They really do regret that. And if they were children involved, they regret the grief and the pain caused regarding the children, okay? They promised you they would care for you. They promised you that they would look after you. And this is the mirroring, you see. I feel that you were very open with this person and you mirrored what, and they mirrored back to you but I'm not getting a toxic mirror in, like where a narcissist will, <laughs> you know, or, you know, with a narcissist, well, I like, I don't know, country music, for example, the narcissist, I love country music. Or <clears throat> I've had a really bad time with this. Oh yeah, so have I, and I can really help you. And then everything you've ever said and done to this per with this person, they literally use all of those things you've told them to stab you in the back. It's not that. It's not that at all. Okay, why else? Why else do they think you deserve better? They were selfish. They were selfish. They were all about themselves at times in the end. They also closed down. You know, with these tarot cards, I have got a very strong uh, water energy today. Two, three, four... Five. Yeah, Cancerian especially. Cancerian energy. I've also got Leo as well. Five of Wands, Leo, yeah. Cancerian energy. But they they were selfish. They, they had their goals. They had their needs. They shut down. They went within their shell. They closed themselves down. They put themselves right up on the pedestal. And at times I think you felt used, okay? They were selfish. They were selfish. 
but they have deep regrets about this, that they're not over yet, not totally. That they, they just want to build some bridges. They just want to build some bridges, okay? They feel very lost without you. They do feel very lost without you. But with regard to your safe space, specifically I was hearing that somebody didn't have their safe things around them. It's almost as if you had to move or go somewhere. Okay, someone put you in a very difficult position with regard to your security, your physical security. Um, yeah, that's what I'm hearing, physical security here. Whereas they seem to just be able to move on. You lost out with something here, but they do regret that. They do regret that. Okay, let me see what... If anything, they're going to do. I want to see first with this deck, what, what are they telling the world as opposed to what they're feeling deep down? What are they projecting out? Because we all do that. We all, pre you know, when people say, oh, are you fine? Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. And inside you're just absolutely feeling like crap. We all do it. So let's see what they're projecting out. Oh, they're projecting out, they're absolutely fine. They're in the emperor energy. Fire again. This is fire and water today. Not always a good mix, fire and water. Um, yeah, they're projecting out. They've got they've got their crap together. They're in, in control, you know, emperor energy. They're being an emperor. They've got their boundaries. Okay, they're being a boss person. They're being a boss person. How they feel deep down, Knight of Cups, they want to speak to you. They love you. So, yeah, they are, they need to make a decision. I've had so much of that, I think, in the last week. Just people not making decisions. It's almost like, for some of you, we're on the cusp of something really shifting here. Just something really, really shifting. Okay? Why are they not coming forward? What's the block, please? Yeah. <laughs> What's the block? Why is this Knight of Cups not getting on his horse and tootling towards you? Because they're very indecisive. Okay, they're overwhelmed. They're confused. They're keeping the peace. They're not looking at the situation. They're walking on eggshells and they're emotionally detached. Okay. So they want to. But that is restricting them. That is restricting them. Let me just see what else I can get with these. I will go to an outcome, possible outcome. <sighs> Material harvest. Yeah, if your person's in business or they are the top of the tree career-wise, they are concentrating on their finances as well. They're project a bit, protecting their finances, okay? Something's coming to an end and they, an investment they've made that they need to protect. Yeah, that's one of the reasons for them withdrawing. They're very withdrawn where they are, where, they're, where they are, where they are at the moment. They're very withdrawn. OK, emotionally, where they're sat at the moment, they're in this emperor energy. That's what they're projecting to the people they're dealing with in their life. Top dog, boss, in control, etc. My way, highway, you know, very strong. This person's in a very strong energy in the material world because that's what they're focusing on. But they have withdrawn emotionally from people around them. I feel they're just keeping the peace at the moment. They're saying neither yay or nay. <clears throat> as we say in the UK, yay or nay, yes or no. Okay, they're just not doing anything. Let's take them three. They're trying to get balance in their life, okay? Wisdom. Authority. Very much in their authority. I think it's their way of controlling their life at the moment, all right? That it's their way of hanging on. You know that saying when you throw yourself into work because everything else is falling down around your ears? I'm feeling that kind of energy today. They're really into their work, into what they're doing, how they're projecting themselves at work, okay? But they're trying to find a balance. They know they need a balance, all right? They know they need a balance. At the moment, they're very much, even if it's female I'm reading on, they're very much in their masculine energy, okay? They're not in their feminine energy. 
and in when they're in their masculine energy they're very focused like i've said on the material things material things yeah they're very very stubborn very stubborn massively stubborn okay let's have more please transformation but going back to what i said earlier in this reading they have been healing and i can see that because yeah okay they're coming across as the emperor cold at times the emperor is cold you know the emperor can be cold can be rigid you know the emperor knows their own mind his mind her mind <coughs> it doesn't but deep down their wisdom they're transforming all right that's why they've got that's why it's so difficult that's why they're overwhelmed and confused because that is really confusing. If you're in a really strong energy and you're keeping up this facade, and not even persona, I heard facade then, to everyone around you, and then deep down you're absolutely besotted with somebody, but nobody really knows, it does get overwhelming. It does get really overwhelming, okay? They have got financial and material changes. I just saw that at the bottom. I was feeling that with them there's something they're working on um but they haven't lost hope with you they still have hope although they're tired but nobody knows they're tired they're fighting a lot of battles nobody knows they're tired They're going to turn a corner, though, with regard to some finances. That's what's been bothering them. So let's just see another tarot deck. Let's just see how this is going to end. Well, no, not how it's going to end, because you're the operant power. Um, <clears throat> tarot is just a weather forecast. What you think they are thinking about you and the situation, you will have turn up in your 3D every single time. So... Depends what you want to do, as I always say now in my videos. You're the operant power. You get to choose what you want. This is just the energy that's here at the moment. Okay? So, let's see. Future. Future energies based on what's being channeled today. Future energies. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, the sun, oh whoa, the sun, and the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, they're coming back, and it's beautiful. I knew this wasn't toxic, I mean, we could have had the Seven Swords in the outcome there, guys, guys and gals, but we haven't, oh, we have got the sun and the Queen of Pentacles, they want to come back in, they are going to come back in, you're going to be so happy, it's going to be stable, it's going to be wonderful, just everything, it's going to be committed, okay, it's going to be committed. And this especially applies to you, I feel, if your person was in a long-term committed relationship with you and they've gone to somebody else. Okay. If they've gone to somebody else. So you were the one, this is specific, you were the one that they were committed to first. Say you were married and you were the first wife or the first husband. And then, like it happens all the time, you know, people break up and then they get into another relationship. They will come back. They will come back to you. Uh, Leo energy here. I'm going to say that because I have got fire and water today. Fire and water energy. But you just look at that card. It's a beautiful card. The sun is oh, one of the best cards in the deck. I don't always see that card, you know. I can go for weeks and not really see that card. So for it to fly out, and there's your energy, Queen of Pentacles. That's what you're going to be. You're going to be in a one-to-one, -one, loving, stable, happy, contented, committed relationship. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Sending you all my love. Take good care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.